Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nandepa. It is very good to have you. Please hit the subscribe button so you can join the family. Now let's get into this video. In today's video, I will be cleaning my greasy, sticky, oily, built up oven as you can see now the normal way i usually clean my oven is using a conventional oven cleaner with a full of chemicals so i have decided that i'm going to be doing it the natural way so first thing we need to do is we need to remove um, the racks that are inside your oven as you can see right over there they are seriously dirty and greasy and also make sure that you are protecting your heating elements because you do not want any mixture to get into them. Now, have a look at that. That is so disgusting. This is a couple of weeks of build-up and not saying that as well. Not to mention it was also the festive season, so it's been used a lot lately. And here's what it looks like before. Now these are really quite stubborn and um, even hard to remove even with the chemical cleaners. We do remove some but you know what, um, not all is removed. Please make sure you clean it often. Okay, so what we'll be using today is we're going to need some water, just clean water and also bicarbonate of soda. Bicarbonate of soda is absolutely amazing for helping to clean around your house and then we are also going to be using a vinegar i am using the white vinegar vinegar okay so now let's get into the mixture you are going to be needing a half a cup of the bicarbonate of soda now my oven is not as big so it's quite small so i'm only going to be needed needing half a cup of bicarbonate of soda and then i'm going to be adding some water I'm stirring it and I'm finding that the mixture is not what I wanted so I'm adding an extra tablespoon of water so I've added three tablespoons of water and I'm going to mix that now bicarbonate of soda is amazing for helping to remove any buildup any grease areas that you want to remove is fantastic for that also helping to freshen up and make your place smell really good it can be used for many things and if you do want a video on the ways that you can actually use bicarbonate of soda at home, please let me know in the comments down below and I will do more videos on the bicarbonate of soda. Okay, so what you're going to need to start off with is you're going to need a brush, some sort of brush, and you can wear gloves if you want to, if you want to use your hands. And all you're going to do is you're going to be applying the mixture inside your oven and make sure you cover every area of your of your oven except of course the heating elements make sure you protect them you can even use foil if you want to Okay, so I've applied the mixture on the door of the oven as well. Once done, close the oven. You have to leave it on for a minimum of 10 hours, 10 to 12 hours. Overnight will be better. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do with the racks is we are going to take that and you're going to put them in the sink. Oh my God, they are so greasy. Okay, so we're going to put them in the sink and then we're going to clean them. If you find your racks are too large, you can also put them, use a bigger bowl or you can use your bathtub. So we're going to put in one detergent, just a normal dishwashing detergent. And then we are going to be adding some boiling water, literally hot, hot, hot water. And then we're going to let that soak for a couple of hours. Okay, it's been a couple of hours and what I've done is I've actually added some more hot water and they become really, really easy to clean. As you can see, I am using the cleaning sponge. You can use a cleaning sponge and they are, they, it gets removed very easily. The grease really removes very easily. Um, it doesn't take that much. However, if yours um, is really dirty and you're finding the grease is not coming out, you can also use the bicarbonate of soda mixture only if your racks are stainless steel okay not if they're aluminium but only if they're stainless steel then you can use that look at that it does not take long at all for it to become clean it is all nice and shiny You can see the comparison between the two, the clean one and the dirty one. Let's continue cleaning. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to take a spatula and you're gonna try and remove that bicarbonate of soda. Now please listen to me. Use a plastic spatula which is a lot firmer. You will see why at the end of this video, why it's really important to use something that's a lot firmer. So make sure you're scrubbing off all the dirt. Look at that. Oy, oy, oy. That is so dirty. That is everything that's coming out. Let's continue to clean. just a damp cloth next up is our vinegar mixture you can see the quantities that you need now what vinegar is going to do because it's acidic it's really going to help to counteract with your bicarbonate of soda which is alkaline so when you add your vinegar to the bicarbonate of soda it is going to bubble up and that acidity is really going to help to clean any excess build up any oil grease that's just going to help to lift it up so when you spray it on in your oven area you're going to see some little bubbles as you can see there it bubbles up and then you can just further clean your oven now I'm not mad at the results as you will see shortly however two things went wrong here number one please make sure you get a plastic spatula that is firm because it really helps to further lift off any sticky and grime and dirt number two make sure you leave it on overnight i left it on during the day even though it was 10 hours somebody used the stove and i think that disturbed the whole results however i will be continuing with a more natural way of cleaning my oven thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it